Starting a business with a CNC machine sounds appealing, doesn't it? Machine sellers often promise quick profits with relatively low investments. But what's really behind these promises? I want to take off these pink glasses and show you the real picture, what it actually takes to get started, the pitfalls you might encounter and how to avoid the mistakes that could quickly ruin your business. Hello, my name is David, this is Virmer. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and let's get started. Working solo. If you plan to work independently, allow at least a couple of months to improve your skills. Otherwise, you risk ruining your first projects, missing deadlines and disappointing your customers. Take your time, practice, make something for yourself or friends first, and then move on to commercial projects. Running a business alone has its pros and cons. On the plus side, you don't need to hire employees, pay salaries or worry about them calling in sick. But on the downside, you're also not immune to illness or unexpected situations, which means you might lose income if you can't work. Managing all aspects of the business alone is extremely difficult. You need to prepare designs, set up the machine, send, assemble and paint the products, maintain the machine and at the same time find customers, handle marketing and manage sales. Without marketing, no one will ever know about your product. It's a massive workload for one person. However, Knowing how to operate the CNC machine yourself is always useful. In case of emergencies, such as an employee calling in sick, you can still complete an order yourself. Hiring employees. Hiring employees allows you to focus on managing the business rather than working on the machine. However, this comes with its own challenge, finding qualified specialists. Some argue that skilled professionals are available and it's just a matter of offering competitive salaries. Others believe that true professionals are already employed by major companies and are unlikely to leave. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments, especially if you're familiar with the CNC job market. Either way, this approach increases labor costs. Yes, it frees you from performing every operation yourself, allowing you to focus on business expansion marketing, customer acquisition and process management. But keep in mind that new employees usually need time to adapt. Choosing a product to make. The key to any business is understanding what and for whom you will produce. When you don't have specific orders, you can use the machine for cutting materials. However, making a living from cutting alone is difficult. This market is saturated with competition. To make money in this business sphere, you'll need bulk orders and multiple machines running non-stop. That's why we, as official distributors of Watson in Europe, prioritize supplying top quality equipment that can operate 24-7 without breaking down. If you focus on unique products, furniture, souvenirs, decor, your chances of success as a beginner are much higher, especially if you understand marketing and sales. We strongly recommend testing the market before purchasing equipment. Select a product, find a contractor to produce it and try selling it. This will help you to determine demand and whether the product is profitable. If demand exists, buying a CNC machine and scaling up production makes sense. If not, try something else. Where to sell? At first, you can list your products on social media and online marketplaces like Etsy, Amazon Handmade and eBay. Over time, consider creating a website and investing in advertising. But in the beginning, minimizing costs and time is crucial. What equipment do you need? To start, you can purchase a small and relatively affordable machine, such as the Watson 0503 or 6090 for laser cutting or the 0404 and 0609 mini for CNC milling. Make sure your workplace has proper ventilation, grounding and has a suitable temperature for machine operation. We help our customers across Europe to choose high-quality machines for their tasks. We provide advice and support in seven languages. Our experienced engineers will assist you with installation, commissioning and training for you and your employees. Besides the CNC machine, you'll need additional tools like a sander, a compressor, a spray gun, clamps and a workbench. And more tasks you can handle in-house, the better. 
Otherwise, outsourcing will lead to higher costs. Budgeting tips. All of our successful clients agree on one thing. Don't skimp on key aspects. People, materials and equipment. A high-quality machine ensures stable 24-7 operation. Consider hidden costs such as taxes, rent, equipment depreciation, salaries and unexpected expenses. Always keep a financial reserve. No one is immune to emergencies. For example, if a client delays payment, having a 30% budget buffer can help you to stay afloat. Final thoughts. We don't just supply CNC machines across Europe. We also help our clients with installation, training and support. Our experienced engineers will teach you how to use the equipment, maintain it and set up your workshop for maximum efficiency. Our mission is to help you to build a profitable business. We hope this video helped you weigh the pros and cons of starting a CNC business and avoid common mistakes. If we miss something important, let us know in the comments. My name is David, you've been watching Virmer, see you next time.